More Cuban migrants are finding their way to the U.S. than at any time in decades. The reason? Cuba is in real crisis. The island nation facing one of the worst economic calamities since the fall of the Soviet Union. Last summer, the countrywide protests over food and medicine shortages led to a major crackdown. The Cuban government issuing strict prison sentences for protesters. The Cuban government blames the recent wave of migrations on the U.S. It says economic sanctions and the years-long closure of consular services at the embassy in Havana led to the spike. But just last week, the U.S. Embassy there issued visas for the first time in more than four years. But experts say the surge is most likely due to a combination of factors, including the economic crisis, the pandemic, and Russia, Cuba, close allies invading Ukraine. Now they're calling this a perfect storm. Here's NBC's Morgan Radford. One of the largest mass migrations in American history. Nearly 80,000 Cubans crossing the southern border in the last six months. Nearly five times higher than the same period last year. And now on track to outpace the mass Cuban exodus of 1980, known as the Mariel Boat Lift, that forever changed American history and U.S. politics. A journey happening again today. One we saw firsthand as we embedded with the U.S. Coast Guard. We're here just miles off the coast of Florida, and this is where the Coast Guard says they have encountered four Cubans trying to cross in the past six months, than the last three years combined. What goes through your mind when you see tons of people, dozens of people inside one of these boats? Um, I try to have some sympathy. Which is why many are choosing a different path. <laughs> Airana Hernandez crossed into the U.S. from Mexico Por la noche, cruzamos. just two and a half months ago. De pie. Caminando. You were walking on foot, pregnant. Her husband, Raul Prado, was on house arrest back in Cuba after being detained in anti-government protests last July. How did you feel knowing your wife was crossing the border alone? I was afraid. Caminas hasta donde hay como un río que es... Bien, se es bajito. So you got to a river where the water was about up to your knees. But a month after Aidana's trek, they were reunited. Raul fled to Miami on a pre-pandemic visitor's visa. COVID, he says, created the perfect storm. Impossibly high prices, a shortage of basic goods, and a political environment that made him fear for his son, Bastian. What is it that you didn't want your son to see? I didn't want him to grow up in a place where his family doesn't have a voice. Everyone will have his breaking point. So many people are leaving your country. Something is wrong in your country. In the end, they made it. Their son, born in the United States a month ago. Valió la pena. Was it worth it? Como a donde va Cuba, eh, si vale la pena. It was worth it. When you look back and you look at how things are going in Cuba, you know it was worth it. For the news, I'm Morgan Radford.